Alright guys, as expected, the May 7th Inside Xbox presentation pulled the curtain back on some third-party games that are making their way to the Xbox Series X and has finally shown our true first look at the next generation. A lot of good-looking games were shown, but I know you guys and myself were expecting so much more from this. I livestreamed the event with some of you and the best thing to come out of the one hour long presentation was literally in the games. Ubisoft hyped everyone up by saying a first gameplay look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla was going to be shown but they unfortunately baited us just a bit by showing in engine footage. The like dislike bar speaks for itself. I was also hoping for a teaser at one of Bethesda's upcoming projects like Deathloop and Ghostwire Tokyo, or from Warner Bros games with Batman, Harry Potter and so on. There's plenty of gaming events like these arriving in the coming weeks and months, especially in June to replace E3 2020, so stay tuned. I would have just liked to see a teaser trailer or a little announcement of what's to come at these said events. Now, like I said, the event showed some really promising upcoming indie games, including a weirdly disgusting horror game, an FPS dinosaur game, an action-adventure game, and much more. Let's get right into it. First off, we have the revival of Scorn, the disgusting FPS horror game. I made so many videos on this and I am so glad to see it is finally revived. Even some hardcore horror fans may not remember this, but Scorn was actually first revealed about 4 years ago, and was coming to PC only at the time. But things have changed, and it's also coming to Xbox Series X now. From developer Eve Software, Scorn as players explore a disturbing world, solve puzzles, and more. The game will utilize psychological horror to make players question everything they see as they explore the game's strange world. The world itself is extremely inspired by H.R. Giger, with odd forms and somber tapestry. Scorn takes place in an open-ended world with different interconnected regions. Each region is a maze-like structure with various rooms and paths to discover. All the storytelling happens in-game, with no cutscenes to distract you from the grisly reality of the living, breathing world you're in. The inventory and ammo management will be defined and limited, so be careful of every single thing you do because this world won't show you any sympathy. It is also said Scorn will have different kind of passive and aggressive monsters. If you decide for example to end a race of monster that's done nothing to you and is just passing by, it'll change the direction of the game story a bit and they will now be your enemy. And there's no going back like I said, this game won't show you any sympathy, it looks amazing. Next up we have Second Extinction, a cooperative dinosaur FPS game coming to Xbox Series X and PC. This setting is so underrated and I'm glad to see some dinosaur hunting again. In Second Extinction, players will take on an arsenal of weapons, abilities and skills, all of which will be necessary against the overwhelming number of enemies. The premise of Second Extinction is simple, players have to retake the planet from a swarm of mutated dinosaurs that have claimed Earth as their own. The developers are also thinking at the moment in adding a solo mode, for all of you lone wolves out there. The first trailer for Second Extinction shows the players exploring a wilderness environment with no human life but full of dinosaurs including strange blue raptors and other famous dinosaurs we know of. You join up with friends, pick a mission, load out and then hurtle your way planet side for your adventure to begin. Once your mission goals have been completed, you'll have to navigate a dangerous extraction in order for you and your teammates to make it out alive. Safely back home, you get to use your rewards to purchase new weapons upgrade them and get ready to leap back in. Second extension is almost like an open world and will feature big open areas of planet earth. Second Extinction is being developed by Systemic Reaction, a smaller team of veterans from the Avalon Studios group. In 2019, Systemic Reaction released Generation Zero, an open world first person sci-fi shooter that can be played with up to 3 friends, just like this game. Next up we have Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2, a first person horror vampire game. Developer Paradox Interactive gave fans another look at the new entry in the Vampire series. Unfortunately, no release date has been given, though the game was initially intended to release in March of this year. The game has however been confirmed for an Xbox Series X release, which definitely upped the graphics for this project. Vampire The Masquerade Bloodlines 2 will allow players to explore Seattle in a semi-open world as a blood-sucking creature of the night. 
the trailer shows off a fair bit of the city as well as some genuinely disgusting moments. There's not much gameplay shown, but what is shown looks impressive, including some cool movement abilities and other powers. In Bloodlines 2, every decision you make will influence the course of the story. You will be able to choose a side among competing factions, each with their own unique threats and stories, in the war for Seattle's blood trade. The world will judge you by the company you keep, so choose wisely. The Seattle city is filled with different environments and characters that will react to your choices. It looks much better than what was shown a year ago, I think. Next up, we have Bright Memory Infinite. Some of you guys might know about this game already if you've been following the channel, but this amazing looking FPS is made by a one-man studio, only one Chinese person, with the help of English force actors and publishing support by the Playism Company. The latest gameplay footage of Bright Memory Infinite that was revealed shows a well-polished and action-packed first-person shooter that features heavy gunplay combined with hack and slash elements and even a vehicle chase sequence, which I never expected this to be in. Bright Memory Infinite is set in a futuristic world in the year 2036. A strange phenomenon occurred in the skies around the world that scientists cannot explain. This prompted the supernatural science organization to send in agents from around the world to investigate the mysterious occurrence. It is said two different worlds are about to be connected, which is why we see so many enemies not from our world. I cannot wait to play it. Next up, we have The Medium, a psychological horror game heavily inspired by Silent Hills and made by an experienced team in horror games. You play as Marion, a medium living in two worlds, the real and the spirit one. Haunted by a vision of a child's murder, you travel to an abandoned hotel resort which many years ago became the stage of an unthinkable tragedy. There you begin your search for difficult answers. The medium is about what you would sacrifice for your family, where you would see two different aspects of the world. There is the real world as well as a psychological nightmare realm. It takes place in Poland. All your anger, urges and secrets are reflected in this spiritual world and only a medium can solve the mysteries of that world. Finally, we have Call of the Sea, a first-person adventure game by developer Out of the Blue and Raw Fury. Call of the Sea will take place in the 1930s and let players experience the story of Nora, a woman on the trail of her missing husband's expedition on a strange but beautiful South Pacific island, a nameless forgotten place dotted with the remnants of a lost civilization. What strange secrets does it hold, and what might Nora unearth in her quest for the truth? From the trailer, it looks like it will be extremely pleasing for fans of atmospheric games like Firewatch. You'll explore a stunning tropical island, meticulously modeled in Unreal Engine 4, brimming with fantastic sights, lost runes, and occult mysteries. You'll also need to investigate the clues left by a previous voyage, piece together what happened, and solve a variety of clever puzzles. It looks really good. I wanted to add one more game as a bonus, which is Autopsy Simulator, which has been revealed recently. Autopsy Simulator is a simulator game with horror elements, which transforms into mystery. The player takes the role of pathologist named Jack. During the autopsy of the mysterious woman, Jack finds inside her the engagement ring of his long-lost wife, Kate. When the action is in progress, other elements of the mystery are found. In order to reveal the truth, Jack has to fight a battle with the sinister forces and his own thoughts. It's nice to see the incorporated boat in Autopsy Simulator as well as horror elements, because I know how scared I would be if I'd be working there. Each case and patients were created with the help of real professionals in this kind of jobs. So organs, their invoices, injuries and case are presented with true attention to the detail and realism. Apart from a realistic representation of the autopsy, the developers have got a spine-chilling story. Let me know which game in this list are you most excited for. I'd have to go for both Scorn and Bright Memory Infinite. Alright guys, that is pretty much all the great game that was revealed recently. If you would like me to make more of these videos, definitely drop a like and subscribe to stay tuned. Again, I'm a bit disappointed with what this next-gen Xbox event showed, but at least we've got some great indie games out of it, which is what my channel is all about. At least we have that. Thanks to Jigglyboy and I am Legend for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll help me and the channel as a whole. Thanks for watching.